now we get to go to our first tutorial cave area of the game. Now we head to... oh my god, <laughs> there's so many tutorials. Oh well. Oh, Sheikah Stone. Do I... oh, the game let, makes me. Okay. Yeah, I already did. Of course I have. Awesome. Oh, could I please uh, get a hint for the final dungeon of the game, please? Uh, what do you mean you won't let me? Oh, okay. Yes, those are basically your hint machines for the game. You don't need them if you're pro. But uh, it should help you if you're ever in need of uh, what to do. Just look through the hints. And it, uh, unless you've played on hero mode, it won't give you any hints until the point you've played, so... It's just a useful thing for beginners who have, like, never played a Zelda game before and don't have that... the, uh... mind's eye. I was, I'm trying to think of what the right term to use is. Not your Zelda challenge. There you go. But, if you played any other Zelda game, you should be fine. This game's not that hard. Well, it might be because I'm playing on hard mode, but... I don't know, I, I th I'm pretty confident that I'll be able to do it, do it pretty easily. And jumping across stones. Because every Zelda game has to have a, uh, a part in the town where you have to jump over water or on stones. This is very, very, very important later. Later. Rupees. Oh, look at that view, though. So great. I love how the music uh, calms down when you get to that part of the town. Our bird! I'll save you, birdie! No! Waterfall. This is your first uh, cave tutorial dungeon area. Every Zelda game has them, and this is the one for this game. It's very easy. You know what isn't very easy, though? Uh, not that. Oh, I forgot to show you what happens when your uh, stamina meter goes. That's what happens. This chest. Most people miss this chest on their first on their first run through, including me. I had to. Uh, I came back here later and ended up finding it. But there's 20 rupees. And, uh, I'll run back. Here we go. This is where we were. And, yeah, swordplay is just... is fantastic in this game. There you go. Uh, oh, more bats. Right now, uh, it takes two hits to kill the bats, but, uh, later it'll, uh, only take one. After we beat this gi giant skyloft area. This is all just a big tutorial. This game has a lot of build-up until it gets to the action, but I think it's fantastic build-up, so... And, was that a bug? I think it was, but we can't get bugs right now. We have to have a bug net. Another red rupee. We'll have 300 rupees in no time. Oh yeah, it was. It was a Skyloft Mantis. But like I said, we can't uh, do anything with that right now. And I hate shoes. There you go. Let's ignore them all. Besides, like, the five rupees every now and then, you don't really gain anything from fighting them. Besides practice. But, playing on hero mode, we don't need practice. Two red rupees. Must be my lucky day. Oh, where are we? I guess we're uh, below everything. And a save station. Makes everything easier. What's over here? Oh. An interruption, of course. Nope. J 
Do they have to go through that cave every time? Destiny. Okay. Escort mission! Zelda! This is the only time in the game you get to do this with Zelda, so... Enjoy it while it lasts. You make her do all sorts of things. Fine. <laughs> there. Of course it's my loft wing. I'm the only one in town with a red loft wing, come on. Oh. We gotta save him. Barrels! More barrels! And this is how you break him out. You see those really, uh, weak looking ropes? Yeah. Bam. Bam. Just precise slashing. There you go. Must feel a lot better for him now. There you go. Fly away. I love this game so much. Yep. Oh. Uh, maybe? It's almost like destiny. Uh, not really. The surface. <laughs> yeah. All sorts of dungeons. Ah, uh, yeah. Do I actually get to press minus this time? I get the drill. Do I get to press minus? I do! But I don't want to! Into the cloud! Okay, no, mine is. <laughs> and you got a remix of that uh, theme from Twilight Princess when you're practicing the swords. Well, it's a sort of remix. It's using the same uh, drum beat. Okay. Yep. Like I'm doing right now. Okay. Like that? Yeah. Like that. Okay, I got the hang of it. It's flying great. It's basically just like flying the uh, Twilight uh, bird in Twilight Princess. Except it handles a lot better than that. Yep. And you use A to charge, and it's just like, uh... Using the, uh, dash move on the Pona. Oh, the bell. Let's go. Sure, why not? Almost done the tutorial. We got another like 30 minutes. 
Yeah, long tutorial in this game. It's not as long as something like Kingdom Hearts 2, though, so relax. And two. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, hi, Grooves. Word travels fast in RPGs. Oh, well, I no, this is an RPG, I'm sorry. You know what I mean. Big Flake. Okay. <laughs> Zelda! Do I have macaroni or grilled cheese? I can't decide. Best friends! Two best friends play? No. Pretty suave. It's a fancy word to be using. <laughs> the best pompadour in town. <laughs> oh, I love the f <laughs> I love that he actually says drrr. Oh, that's great. I love this game's script. Adorable Fantasyland? Well, this is a fantasy game. That's Sailcloth. <laughs> Special moment. <laughs> Oh, I love that. Bruce is so awesome, but he's such an asshole. The king of cool. Uh, you know, like the spe. Uh, I'm I'm boned. A fair race, I'm 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 sure. Dangerous moves. I'll be doing backflips. <laughs> and I love Groose's theme too. It has like thirty remixes throughout the game and they're all great. It's like the ultimate douchebag theme. I don't I don't know. Yeah! Uh, alone? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Hey! Yep. 